Hi, my name is Luke Homan, and in this second video, I will go ahead and show you how to host a game in Nosy. This is the Nosy screen that uh, is presented after I log in. You'll see at the top left, it's my name, and I have some choices. I can play a game, and I can look at some other options, including look at my timeline of games played or managing topics and items. The key step for this video is to click on the Play a Game button. Now when I click play a game, I have two choices. I can host a game or I can join a game that someone else is hosting. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select host a game. The first step in hosting a game is selecting a set of topics for your players. Now usually we recommend two to three topics so that people have a choice. So I might go ahead and uh, select coffee, or uh, favorite flavors of ice cream, or favorite NFL team. And I kind of can page down here, and you'll look at the bottom of the screen, there's several pages. I could look at my favorite Star Wars movie. That's a good set of topics. Now, when I start the game, I can start the game as a player or as an observer. When you start the game as a player, it means you are creating a like list, which is picking a topic and then rank ordering the items within the topic for the game. When you start the game as an observer, it means that you are simply setting up the game and allowing other people to play. At the top, you'll see that there's a by default a game ID presented. You can change the name of that game by clicking on the edit button, and you might say that the game name might be, um, you know, with with uh, before before team lunch and I can save that and so this is the game that we're gonna play before the team lunch and I'm gonna start the game as a player now when I start the game as a player nosy presents me uh, with a set of the topics I've chosen and I might say uh, go ahead and pick your favorite uh, flavors of ice cream and I'm gonna actually play the game for real so if you're watching this video and you play Nosy with me, you'll have an idea of what I actually like. I like cookie dough. Uh, I do like vanilla. And you'll see that there's a second page. And you might want to remind your players that there are uh, many times topics have more than one page. Um, Rocky Road, for sure my favorite. Um, not a fan of mint chocolate. Uh, looking at the rest of the list, I see cookies and cream and I see butter pecan. And I do like butter pecan, but not quite as much as the other. So you can definitely see kind of the cookies and chocolate flavor to the game. Now the next step is for me to simply say start the fun. And when I click on this button, you'll see that I'm presented with a table where other players can join the game. I'm presented at the bottom of the table with a little star over my name. And the star represents the active player. On the left-hand side, you can see the player's lobby. This is where you, as the facilitator or host of the game, can control how people join the game. Now, you'll see that there's a checkbox called Automatically Place Players into the Game. Most of the time, you'll want to leave that checked. You'll also see a checkbox called Prevent Players from Joining the Game. And if that box is checked, then future players are prohibited from joining. So the game name is at the top before team lunch, and the game ID is over here on the side. And we are now ready to play Nosy. In my next video, I'll show you how players join the game that we have just created.